If you hold it too tightly, what's going to happen is they're going to stop dead. <laughs> they and they won't come down anymore. Okay? So the trick is, is to give them enough rope. I'm standing in front of St Mary's Parish Church, Walton on Thames, where, in a while, a group of brave, or some might say foolhardy people, will be abseiling down the tower. Why are they doing it? Well, I hope to be talking to some of the participants later, but the event is being organised to raise money for the Bell Restoration Project. Hilary Brooks, in a nutshell, what is the project all about? The project is because there are bells, three of which are heritage bells, one of which is cracked, need to be come out and be rehung in a new steel frame. This steel frame, however, is part of the abseil equipment that Tom Hatt and his team have been installing and checking since 7 o'clock this morning. Shortly after 10 o'clock, the first abseiler begins her descent. My name's Harriet Barker, I'm a registered nurse. Did you enjoy that experience? Yes, I think I did actually. Have you ever done anything like it before? No. Is it something you'd like to do again? Maybe. <laughs> And how much money have you raised towards the um, Bell Fund? Over £200. Steve, you're curate of the parish. Did you enjoy that just now? I think enjoy is perhaps not quite the right word. I'm pleased to have done it. I was quite excited but quite nervous as well. I've been very generously sponsored by people of the parish and so I'm hoping to raise about £1,000 from having done this. I'm Mark Middleton and I work for a bank and I'm doing this because I like the sound of bells. You certainly looked like you knew what you were doing up there. Do I take it you've done it before? No, I haven't, but I've, um, you know, I've, I've, I've watched Arnold Schwarzenegger films, so I guess you just follow his lead, really, <laughs> don't you? Mike Bale is the master of the Guild of Church Bell Ringers for the Diocese of Guildford. Uh, at the moment, my sponsorship form is sitting about £200. And do I understand that the, uh, the Guild have made a donation towards the project? The Guild have, yes. The Guild have made a donation of £20,000 towards, to, towards the project. The Guild does a lot of work in, for, for fundraising for restoration projects for towers around the diocese. It's one of the, one of the, one of the main activities and main functions to, to keep the bells of, of uh, the Diocese of Guildford ringing. The guys are really, really good up there. Absolutely such confidence builders. It's amazing, yeah. My father-in-law is chief bell ringer, so that's how I got roped in for the day. Roped in, see what I did there. And how old are you, Caroline? I'm 10 turning 11. 10 turning 11, so you're definitely our youngest person so far today to abseil. Would you mind disclosing your age? 74. 74 years old. I, I think this must definitely make you the <laughs> oldest abseiler today. Hi, I'm Kate. Uh, I'm 29 and I have work in a children's home. I've just abseiled because it's my mum's 60th birthday and she needed someone to go first. Yes, I'm Jill and I'm, I'm delighted to do this on my birthday and I think it's great to raise money for the church bells but oh my goodness, am I glad my feet are on the floor. <laughs> and with the last of nearly 60 abseilers safely down, that's the action over for the day. With today's sponsorship and donations, the Bell Restoration Fund is now several thousand pounds closer to changing the rings at St Mary's. It was unbelievable, I want to go again. You really do? I can't wait, I just, I just want to do it, I want to do it again.